So you're taking an engineering design course and learning about the design process, and you're currently focusing on the conceptualization stage, where you're coming up with ideas for ways to solve your design problem. Your instructor told you that you'll be using product dissection to help you come up with these ideas. But what is product dissection? Product dissection is the systematic disassembly of a product in order to identify the components and subassemblies of a product and how it functions. Product dissection helps students understand the inner workings of a product. We take it apart, we determine what is actually causing things like the spinning motion, how is the device being powered. So product dissection is really great for learning how products work but how can I use it to help me come up with new ideas? So one of the benefits of doing product dissection is it gets us to think of the design or the product in a new way. So if we're thinking about a computer mouse, usually the first thing that comes to mind is the shape or the form of the mouse, the absence or presence of buttons in the device. But what we really need to think about as engineers is how is the thing working? What's causing those buttons to actually transmit those signals to the machine itself? And so Product dissection allows us to have more jumping off points. It allows us to think about the design problem and the design space in a way that we wouldn't originally when thinking about the problem. And perhaps most importantly, product dissection allows us to think about more than just the form of the product, but how the product functions. So now that we know what product dissection is and when to use it during the engineering design process, how do we go about dissecting a product? Product dissection is typically done in a physical environment, so taking apart a product using screwdrivers and dremels and other tools that are required in a laboratory setting. The problem with physical dissection is that it can get really expensive really quickly. So when you take apart a product, you typically can't put it back together. And if you can't put the product back together, that goes into a landfill. So if everyone is going to dissect a product, then we get a lot of waste from these products. So recent research has looked into virtualizing product dissection and putting this on a computer or a tablet or a smartphone. These products are much more accessible because most people have access to a computer and the research has actually looked at the differences between physical and virtual dissection and when it comes to inspiring new ideas, virtual and physical product dissection have no difference in their ability to help us during that idea generation process. Now that we've learned about product dissection, let's give it a try. Visit our website to get more information about product dissection and download the free software and models to start dissecting products and get inspired.